hi my wonderful friends hello hola konnichiwa bonjour uh, zdravo hi my wonderful i and dls fabulous first graders and anyone else tuning in for this another uh, bleh, another read aloud from um, our book that we are going to be reading from this week it is listen my children so if you need to go get it i'll give you a second in a minute and this is for our OLS assignments from week five, day one, which is 3.4. It is on page 14, and it is called The Owl and the Pussycat by Edward Lear. So if you need to pause the video and go get this book, you know the drill. And hajime. And we're back. Okay, good, good, good. So I hope you have your book. And what we always do, remember page 14, is we do um, a picture walk. And while there aren't a lot of pictures on these two pages, page 14 and 15, there are some words, there's some writing in little blue circles. So we're going to talk about that first. Okay, so first of all, I want you to look at the picture on page 14. And there is the owl and the pussycat, and they are in a boat. And I see honey, I see another bag, I see the cat is driving the boat, and the owl is playing maybe a guitar, or a, I don't think that's a ukulele, I think it's a guitar. Mia, would you like to say hello? All right, remember, we have our class cat, and she's not, she doesn't look happy, but she's purring. So Mia is saying hello, everybody. You know how much she loves to be in your lessons and walk in front of my face. Okay. So we're going to look on page 14 first, and I'm going to read to you what is in the little blue circle. It says a five-pound note. That is the English version, over in England, of a five-dollar bill. You know what? I think I get the idea that they're going to be telling us the definition of some of these words. So when I read through it, you'll have an idea. Okay, so that five-pound note is the English version, over in England, of a five-dollar bill. All right, let's look on page 15. Now there's another circle, the top one, and it says it's a shilling. An English coin, again, not worth a whole lot. So a shilling isn't worth a lot. The second blue circle says mince, and that is chopped spiced fruit often made into a mince meat pie. Okay, so mince, try and remember, is a type of food. And then below that is a word that rhymes called quince. Quince is a fruit like an apple that grows on bushes. Ooh, I kind of want to taste that. So on page 14 and the first circle on 15, we have a five pound note and a shilling. And those are types of money in the country of England. And then below that, the, third, the second and third circle on page 15 are types of food. We have mince and quince. Okay, so now at the bottom of page 15 is a square. I'm going to read that also. And these are what we'll see a lot um, when uh, it's giving us some more information or details. And we also saw that when we read about the storytellers from around the world. And it gave us some really cool little facts. So I'm going to read that. Edward Lear made up the term runcible spoon. Since then, though, people have come to use those words for something real. An eating utensil curved like a spoon, but pronged like a fork. Runcible spoon. Have you ever heard the word spork? I think that's kind of what it sounds like, a spoon and a fork mushed together. Okay, here we go. I'm going to read. Remember, I would love you to close your eyes and listen. And then if you listen to this again, I'd like you to follow along with the words. I know that can be tough because I stop and I might read a little faster. And then I'd love you to keep practicing that, okay? All right, here we go. The Owl and the Pussycat by Edward Lear. The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money wrapped up in a five pound note. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Do you hear the rhyming already? This is a poem story. 
Okay, so I'm now going to where it says the owl. It's one, two, three, four. It's five sentences down. Are you with me? Okay. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang to a small guitar. Oh, lovely pussy. Oh, pussy, my love. What a beautiful pussy you are. You are. You are. What a beautiful pussy you are. She's referring to the pussycat. Pussy said to the owl, you elegant fowl, how charmingly sweet you sing. Page 15. Oh, let us be married. Too long have we tarried, but what shall we do for a ring? They sailed away for a year and a day to the land where the bongo trees grow. And there in a wood, a piggy wig stood with a ring at the end of his nose. His nose, his nose, with a ring at the end of his nose. Dear pig, are you willing to sell for one shilling your ring, said the piggy. I will. So they took it away and were married next day by the turkey who lives on a hill. They dined on mints and slices of quince, which they ate with a runcible spoon. And hand in hand on the edge of the sand, they danced by the light of the moon. The moon, they danced by the light of the moon. I hope you enjoyed that story and could also hear some of the rhythm and the rhyming. Yo te amo. I love you so much. And I'll see you real soon. Hasta luego.